Hey everybody, welcome back. Sorry for the hiatus, but things happen in life, you know. Um, do me a favor, in the comment section, let me know if you would prefer me to do voiceovers and then some music in the dead spaces, or if you would prefer when I'm doing voiceovers, I try and leave in the machinery noises, such as like the saw, sanders, all of that kind of stuff. Um, really, it's, it's up to you guys what you would prefer, because a lot of times, like even in this video, I did two and three times speed on some of the clips the audio doesn't always mesh with um, the video real great so the first clip was me cutting up the steel it's going to be 16 layers then here I'm cleaning up the steel so that it welds itself together and then I'm going to weld everything up. There's really not a lot else to say because everything in this video is pretty self-explanatory. But I do have some projects going. I actually have um, all the footage from making that long blade. I just have to sit my butt down in front of the computer and get it all going. And then I did try to make um, a handle with Daisy's hair for a memento blade that I'm going to make out of Damascus. I don't know. Maybe it's the high humid weather that we have here. Or maybe I just didn't put in enough of the hardener. But it's been four days. And while it's solid, it's a little tacky yet. So... We'll have to see. That was my first attempt at using resin, so I may have to um, redo that. Other things that I did notice was when I was using my um, press that the original dies that I made, yeah, they're kind of small width-wise, so I may have to grind those down and remake those, so Maybe that'll be another video for the future. You know, here I'm trying to set the welds. Probably should have had that metal a lot hard, hotter. You know, putting some um, flux on there. And you can see the back end really isn't welding temp. Even the front end isn't anymore. So then I switched to the press. And yeah, that's when I ended up getting it to welding temp for sure, but I broke the forge. Well, not the whole forge, but the floor of the forge. There was so much flux on there from other Damascus that I made that it was sticking to the billet, and the one time I picked up the billet, yeah, it lifted the floor up, the floor dropped off, and cracked. So I had to wait and order two new floors so I think in the future I will always have a spare because I will take out the floor when I'm doing Damascus versus just heating up and forging regular steel because that flux just eats away at the floor of the forge it was horrible it actually ate into both layers of that forge that I had to order two new bricks. Using this pneumatic press, it's a pain in the butt. I don't get a lot of um, heat heats out of it because it takes so long, but yet it's still better than hammering it by hand. Maybe one of these days I can actually afford to buy a true hydraulic press. Alright guys, we're almost done. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and we will see you soon.